Our panelists are going to be John Saren. He's STEM's partner program lead, and he's my primary point of contact at STEM. Brian Molina is an analyst with the marketing team for STEM, and Doug Jordan is the senior manager of pre-construction and partner support at STEM. So I want to give a little bit of background with Soligent and Soligent's relationship with STEM. So Soligent has been a leader in solar equipment distribution for 40 years and counting. We have been supporting residential scale storage since that time. And beginning in this year, we began our partnership with STEM to enable us to have a commercial storage offering. So STEM is a leader in um, the commercial storage space. And so by adding them as a partner, we can now um, help you, our, our installer base, to access um, commercial projects. So with that, um, I'd like to introduce John Saren. Great, thanks Madeline, and uh, happy Wednesday to everyone who can join us. Uh, we're happy to have you here. So, you know, just to kind of lay out everything for you all, um, this webinar is gonna be focused exclusively on, on, on STEM U, STEM University, and um, you know, what, what it entails and what's included in it, what's not. Um, so, you know, we can see, we can see we'll, we're gonna give you a background on, on STEM U initially. Um, and then we'll do a deep dive on each one of the certification programs. And, um, you know, to that end, we we have the uh, the subject matter experts for each of those verticals on, uh, you know, for, to go through the uh, the programs with you. And then also um, to, to answer your questions at the end of this uh, presentation. So with that, let's dig into it. Right, so just to do a quick STEM overview here, right, so STEM has been around for over 10 years. Um, we've had systems deployed in the ground for over eight. Um, we're, we're still a pretty lean team with a little over 150 employees. That said, we have um, systems installed around the country and around the world. Um, and, and actually, you know, we operate the largest um, virtual power plant in the world. Um, at above 100, 1,000 sites at the moment and almost 800 megawatt hours. Um, and we're also the, the market leader in the behind the meter CNI energy storage space. So we have a lot to offer as a partner. And, um, you know, one facet of that is, is STEM University. So um, we're excited to, to talk about that with you all today. Right, so, you know, before kind of digging into to each one of these certification programs, let's just talk about how we came about uh, creating SEMU and, and why we decided to do it. Um, so to, to, to paint a quick picture here, um, it, it's good to just talk about where we are in the, uh, the energy storage space and where we're going. Um, and we, you know, we were able to uh, add a little bit of context and make this more current, um, given the the environment, right? So um, 2020 has definitely been a challenging year uh, for everyone, right? And uh, the solar industry has, has been no exception to that. You know, um, more specifically, um, the, the clean energy space has lost a lot of jobs, over 600,000 uh, to date in 2020. Um, and I think the solar industry in particular is it expected to be down by year end um, at or over 30%. So today, more than ever, it's really important for solar companies to improve their op offerings and become more competitive and in doing so win more deals. Um, and one way in, in which you can do this is by, you know, adding energy storage to, to your quiver of options that you can offer your, your end use customers. Right, so building out these energy storage capabilities and growing your team's understanding of storage applications, um, you know, can can significantly not only enhance your business resili resiliency and your project resiliency, um, but it's going to be very important in maintaining relevance in the solar industry moving forward. As you can see, um, you know, we're kind of at an inflection point here, right? So, um, 2020 expected for for storage is you know, 
slightly down from where it was um, at the outset of the year. I think you know we're projected to be you know upwards of twenty percent, so a little little bit less than than uh, solar in terms of um, kind of the depression in the market. But you know regardless, we're still very much at an inflection point. So as as solar partners, um, it is key that um, you all uh, you know get smart on storage sooner rather than later so that you are able to reap the benefits that this space has to offer. Right, so now let's just talk quickly about kind of the, the impetus, again, that STEM had for, you know, in creating the partner program, right? So we actually conducted a ton of interviews um, throughout the, uh, the, solar, the solar space. And um, we talked to, to, to a good number of you. And, you know, we, we asked you pretty directly what, you know, you were looking for in a best-in-class partner in energy storage. And, you know, what we heard was that, you know, you all needed education, instruction, direction, and resources. And so, you know, that kind of was the, the impetus for us creating a, a quote unquote program for for you all to engage in right uh, we we heard projects for storage um, and you Don't have experience, and so um, through STEMU, you know, we, we're really hoping to to provide you with that proficiency. Um, you know, we also heard that you need a certain amount of support through um, through the sales process, and you want to know exactly what you can expect from the post sales uh, process as well, right? So, questions like how do you install a STEM system, and what what post sale assistance does STEM provide? Um, those were common questions during our interviews. And so, you know, again, through STEM University, and you'll get a flavor of this in the presentation today, um, you know, you'll be able to see exactly um, what, you know, the post-sale post side of the house entails. And finally, many of you expressed the interest for resources in the form of leads um, and, and co-marketing funds and training access. And, you know, so all of these aspects went into the creation of um, the formalized partner program, STEM partner program, which houses STEM University. Okay, so now we're just going to do a quick overview of STEMU. And so this is a snapshot of the curriculum. And so you can see uh, currently STEM University offers three distinct, distinct certification programs. So we have sales, sales analytics, and deployment and you know so these are really tailored to kind of you can see at the bottom the individuals that each each certification is is tailored towards um, you know that said you know we would we would welcome you know every individual who engages with stem university to go through um, all of the certification programs we think they are they are highly valuable um, and so what else can I say about these? So you can see that each of these consist of several several courses, right? We also call them modules. Um, and so in order to achieve certification in a specific vertical, um, you'll have to you have to go through each of the courses, and then each course has a, a short quiz. Um, and then, you know, companies who have a, a combination of one or more in individuals who have achieved all three certifications are are deemed STEM certified for uh, for one year. And I'll talk more about that in, in later in this presentation. And then just to talk timing. So I'd say the sales and sales analytics, you know, it, it, the certification program timing, it, it, it varies obviously depending on your proficiency, right? Uh, I would say sales and sales analytics takes, both take anywhere from, from one to three hours of your time. 
And, um, and then the deployment certification, just because it is so dense, uh, again, depending on Hey, John, we seem to be losing your audio a bit here. Um, let me try and move. Can you guys hear me now? Yes, we can hear you great. Thank you. Okay, hold on. Just in the corner of my house. Okay, let's try it. Let's try it again. Um, right, so I'm on, I'm on deployment, right? And so, um, you know, again, the deployment, just because it is so dense, depending on your level of proficiency, can take anywhere from three to six hours and perhaps even longer, um, you know, if you're, if you're just starting out in, um, you know, getting smart on, on energy storage. Okay. And Jamie, I'm happy to review any, you know, kind of go over anything you guys didn't hear if there were significant portions of the, of the presentation, but otherwise I'll move forward. Go ahead. Uh, please move forward. Thank you, John. Cool. Right. So, and then, okay. So, you know, for you all, you know, what, what, do you, what, what can you expect to get out of STEM university? Right. And so, um, you know, here's a screenshot of, of the sales certification. I apologize if there's any background noise on my end, guys. Um, and so you can get a sense of like what the, the user experience is like, right? Um, this is, you kind of walk through each of, each of the courses, um, they're, they're video and, um, and slide based, and then a sidebar which shows you the next course or module um, that you'll be taking, and also the, you'll have the opportunity to, to take the quiz. Um, and so, you know, to be clear here, as I mentioned before, we'd love every member of your team to obtain uh, the STEM use certification that's relevant to them. And, you know, for, for you all, you're going to need subject matter experts who can sell, analyze, and deploy STEM storage solutions, um, you know, in order to be proficient in energy storage. And so this is going to involve an investment of, of both time and energy, right? But, you know, once you go through these courses, you'll be able to increase your storage attachment rate, increase your margins, differentiate your business, and overall provide your customers with better risk adjusted projects. So, you know, that's, that'll be super valuable as you, as you all begin to, um, you know, attach storage to your, your solar projects. And moreover, it's going to provide you with the confidence to be able to determine when, you know, when is a, a good fit to attach storage and how to do it, right? So, um, with that, let's, let's dig into the individual certification programs. So let's start on the sales certification first. Okay, so, um, you know, the sales certification, right, is really, uh, STEM sales methodology and, and the STEM solution. And then um, the next course, course number two, we go into um, kind of the current state of the, the energy storage market and why it's a good time um, to engage with the energy storage space and begin ad adding energy storage uh, to your solar projects, right? And so from this course, um, from the current state and why energy storage, you know, the, the goal here is for, for you all to, to get a good understanding of the behind the meter energy storage market um, and also understand and be able to communicate the opportunity uh, to attach uh, storage to solar. And we also want you to be able to effectively communicate uh, the trend. You know, I, I showed you that, that inflection point that we're at currently. Um, and, you know, we also. Sorry to interrupt once more, John. It looks like we're losing the audio again here. I do, I do apologize. Sit tight, everyone. We're just gonna try to have John reconnect here. We ex um, please excuse the audio issues.
All right, can you all hear me? Yeah, perfect, John. And your screen, I can see it clearly. Sorry about right. that, everyone. Thank you, John. Yeah, I apologize to you all who are on board. Please bear with me. Um, this is actually the first time this has ever happened. So um, I just kind of switched things up. Um, but right, so now we're talking about uh, the third course in the sales certification. Um, and we, so, you know, at second course, we, we talk about the energy storage market writ large, right? And, um, you know, in the, in, the, uh, in the third course, we're gonna dig into the STEM solution specifically. It's called how the STEM solution works, right? And so for this course, our goal is to, for, to get, give you all an understanding of, you know, how Athena, which is our um, artificially intelligent software, uh, at, uh, drive value um, uh, out of the STEM solution based on um, the different markets that we, that we play in. Um, and more specifically, how Athena optimizes the battery across different applications um, for maximum value to the end user. Uh, we also want to give you an understanding of um, kind of the, the experience that, that our solution has gleaned over the past 10 years and why this matters so much given that our core competency is artificial, artificially intelligent algorithms. And then finally, just um, you know, we want to give you a, a, a base understanding of how energy storage increases solar value. Okay. Moving to um, courses four, five, and six here. Right, so that course four is, is the product guide. And so, you know, this is really, again, focused on, um, you know, on the hardware portion of, um, of the STEM solution. And so, you know, we, we want to give you guys an understanding of, of who the hardware pro providers are that we, that we work with and what their different building blocks consist of. Um, and we also want to give you a window into the, the hardware resources that we, that we offer, um, which, you know, including our, include spec sheets, um, you know, installation manuals, sample single line and CAD drawings, et cetera. And, and uh, Doug Jordan will actually be speaking to uh, this repository that we have a little bit later in the presentation. Okay. Um, and then, you know, the fifth course here is, is power solutions. And so this, this course is focused specifically on STEM's uh, backup offering. So, you know, to that end, we'd like to give you guys an understanding of, um, you know, the four different vari variations of STEM's backup power offering, the different modes that, um, you know, the STEM solution offers in terms of backup, uh, and the different ways in which site design and system configurations can be laid out depending on the goal and the, the needs of the end use customer. And then finally, you know, the, the customer qualification and sales process for backup power solutions because it is, um, I'd say, significantly more detailed and uh, time intensive than kind of your normal uh, storage sales process. Okay, on to the sixth course, right? So um, this is really kind of a, a uh, customer qualification uh, course, right? So we want to tell you, we want to give you guys a great understanding of, you know, who's a, who's a good fit and why. So to that end, we, we talk through STEM's market focus, you know, the different states in which we're current and the different states in which we are, um, you know, on the cusp of being current. Uh, we talk through the different value streams that we can stack in each of our key markets. And, you know, we, we talk through, um, you know, some of the key strategies that you all, you solar partners can employ um, to better attach uh, storage to your solar projects uh, um, for big business customers, right? Um, to engage them better. And then, you know, in doing so, you know, we hope that, that, you know, this course really allows you to effectively communicate, um, you know, to your, to your uh, end use customers and, and to your um, colleagues who, you know, who's a good fit, 
when it comes to uh, behind a meter energy storage in a given market. Okay, and then finally seven, eight, and nine. Um, so course seven is all around incentives and fundings in our, in our various markets, right? So again, we wanna give you a great understanding of the different incentives that are available across our core markets because these can be a sizable portion of the, the revenues that you're able to achieve from storage in, in certain cases. Um, we talked through a bit about how different ways of funding projects so you all, um, again, can, can come prepared with that knowledge when you're approaching an end-use customer. And then specifically, we drill into uh, the California market and talk through some of the new aspects of the California S-Chip program, which rolled out in um, early May. Right, and then, you know, kind of sec the second to last course again is a, a circle uh, back on you know why stem and, and why we're we're a best-in-class partner for you all um, and so we we dig into uh, the support that that stem provides throughout the project life cycle so this starts um, you know at the pre-sale phase and and again moves um, to the post-sale phase and well, we also touch a bit on, um, you know, the, the support uh, that STEM provides kind of throughout um, the, the uh, services contract lifetime, right? So that's um, 10 to 20 years out. We're, we're with you. We're with the project. We're, we're there 24-7. Um, and, you know, we also want to give you guys an understanding of, um, again, the experience that we bring to bring to the table, uh, you know, the, our key capabilities as a best-in-class storage partner. And then we also walk you through um, kind of the, the, the de number of deployments that I, that I touched on earlier in the presentation and, um, you know, why, why it matters in terms of, of creating a, a virtual power plant. And then last but not least, um, the final course is all about sales best practices and, you know, really it, it digs into how to sell STEM and, and, you know, we, we dive into the STEM sales strategy and, and talk about, um, kind of each step in detail and, and, you know, kind of, again, best practices when, 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 uh, when selling, selling the STEM solution. Um, and also how to implement these, these sales techniques, right? Because, um, you know, if you are new to the storage sales process, again, you may need some, some assistance in this regard. Okay, so that, guys, is the, uh, the sales certification in, in a nutshell. And, you know, I'm sure that was a lot to throw at you. But again, we'll be taking questions at the end of this uh, presentation. And with that, I will... Um, pass the buck to Brian Molina to talk through the sales analytics certification program. Thanks, John. Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us on this webinar. I'm very excited to share with you all an overview of the sales analytics course offered within the STEM University. This course was strategically created by STEM analysts for other fellow analysts and incorporates feedback we receive from our partners and distributors. Therefore, it includes both a detailed and behind the scenes look at not only how to analyze storage, but also how to optimize for it. The, co the course is uh, comprised of six dis distinct courses covering a variety of topics needed for basic proposal creation and is actually centered around the California market. Um, so without further ado, uh, John, let's go ahead and show the, the first courses here. And so beginning with course one, you'll learn why storage uh, can help you expand the portfolio of products you sell, and in particular, how it can help you sell more solar with more savings to your customer and more profit for you. We'll also discuss what tools are available to, to help you on your storage journey, and we'll connect the use of these tools into a clear, easy to learn step-by-step -step process. In course two, STEM will guide you through the basics of data capture, data manipulation, 
and data interpretation necessary to help you model systems and energy tool base with confidence. This will include modifying and preparing 15 minute load interval data and solar data for the ETB simulation engine, as well as key tips for reading utility bills to optimize proposal savings for your customers. In the, in the third course, um, we provide an, a, a various incentives available to enhance your solar plus storage project, including the SGIP incentives, their, their various uh, requirements and incentive levels, as well as claiming the ITC on your solar plus storage project. Let's go ahead and move on to courses uh, three, four, and five, or sorry, four, five, and six. And so in, in, in course four, uh, this is a, a pretty detailed step-by-step -step review of how to interface with ETB. Uh, this includes many exciting details for modeling energy storage systems like creating a lead and, and a facility, as well as uploading interval data and 8760 data into the simulation engine. Um, there's also opportunity for evaluating the uh, a rate switch impact within, within an analysis case as well as understanding why the nameplate ESSKW must be less than the site's annual max load. Last but not least, obviously there's opportunity for leveraging the simulations that lift behind the STEM button within ETB. In course five, uh, it's more one of the more advanced uh, sessions. This will provide uh, users uh, with guidance on how to match products seen in ETB to the options available in the partner proposal tool. The partner proposal tool being one of uh, STEM's uh, uh, offered modeling uh, and proposal creation tool. It uh, will teach you how to input energy charge savings, demand charge savings, and rate switch impact numbers from ETB into the uh, partner proposal tool. Uh, We'll also discuss how to compare sizes across various metrics on a heat map. And then finally, but most importantly, uh, how to identify the optimal size to maximize your customer savings while also increasing your own project profits. Finally, in the last course, uh, we'll cover advanced modeling with case study examples. It's, it's intended for in-depth scenario analysis that would involve switching rate tariffs. And it's actually, uh, it, it, as, as it states there, it's centered around, primarily around the California market. All right, yeah, and uh, you know, uh, that, that does it for about the course. Again, it's, it's six distinct, and as John mentioned, it takes roughly about you know, one to three hours, depending on uh, you know, your experience with uh, some of the topics covered. Um, and, you know, I look forward to, to hearing any feedback you guys have from this course that we designed. And I look forward to you all becoming sales analytics certified. Thanks, Sean. Cool. All right, let's uh, move on to the deployment certification with, um, with Doug Jordan. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining. Really, uh... Excited to have such a large, large uh, participation. Um, so this is uh, definitely the technical side of the of the STEM University for meant for uh, engineers, project managers, electricians. Um, we actually re re request slash require that uh, at least one of uh, of the EPCs certified uh, C10 electrician foreman um, attend this. Uh, all the way through. Um, it also is really helpful if, if you have in-house engineers um, to, uh, to get a certification so that they're really squared away on all the, the, um, the system architecture and the, and the single line diagrams. Why don't we just go, dive right into it, John, on the next slide. <clears throat> so here's kind of the high level overview of your deployment certification. It starts with uh, nine onboarding modules. Uh, I'm sorry, 10, 10 onboarding modules. One is an overview, and then there's, and then there's nine really deep, detailed deep dives, um, which I'm going to go into in, in great detail over the next uh, few minutes. 
Um, the next one is the, the OEM training. Um, now, obviously, pre-COVID, this would have been on-site and very um, hands-on. We're obviously having to get a little creative um, with how to do this. So we're developing um, some, uh, some virtual kind of photo walkthrough, virtual hands-on training, if you will, to get folks really um, familiarized with the hardware itself. It's basically the assembly manual and the installation manual um, distilled down into really clear uh, photos with, with narration, et cetera. And then the third step is, is project supervision. Um, we require that, that your first two projects uh, have a STEM project manager, just kind of supervising, making sure that, uh, that you're getting all the answers you need and um, catching some of the, the, uh, the gotchas, if you will, that we see quite frequently. Um, and at the end of those two projects, the project, it's kind of at the project manager's discretion if, if they've seen fewer than three major installation errors, then, then the, uh, the EPC is certified. So that's the sequence, onboarding, the, e, the OEM training, and then the project supervision. So now I'm gonna go into the, into the, the, the course one, if you will, the on, onboarding modules. Um, there's nothing really to cover on two and three because that's pro product specific and project specific. But, uh, but yeah, why don't we go to the next slide and I'll, I'll cover all the onboarding modules. So it starts with, uh, it starts with the project life cycle um, where we go through the, the, the high level steps in our project and the different touch points um, that STEM provides. Uh, I'll also clarify that even once, even though uh, uh, an EPC may be certified and has gone through the overview with the, depl the deployment project manager, where my role is in, in my title is partner support. And so I'm still here if, uh, if, if anybody needs reminding of where something lives in our portal or, or encounters some weird bogey question from the interconnection application, something like that. So we're, we're here to kind of, to help you along the way and be the, the easy button, as we like to say. Um, and there's a pretty detailed uh, responsibilities matrix that we cover in that module. The next one is documentation resources. I, I think that this, this is, uh, I think carries a, a large percentage of what we offer to, to, uh, to an EPC and a, and a solar developer. Um, we, we've, gathered hundreds of documents and generated templates and checklists and um, AHJ uh, uh, kind of training packages to, to make sure that, that your solar plus storage project goes through in a, in a very expedited way. We've actually proven this out that it can shave approximately 30% off of a project schedule by really using all the templates and, and checklists and tools, et cetera. Um, that we have, that we've captured and consolidated in, into this uh, EPC resource library. Um, so next up is uh, the system components and configurations. Um, this is mainly uh, concerned with the ESS itself and some of the layout concerns and options and 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 issues you may encounter at at, a, at some particular site. The AC electrical design really digs into the kind of the, the nuances of doing a STEM ESS. Uh, as you probably are aware, um, <clears throat> the, uh, the Athena software is kind of our, our secret special sauce. And because of that, um, it and what differentiates us be be you know, between our competitors or just going directly with, with an OEM con control system is uh, the communications and architecture between the ESS and the STEM computer, which is called uh, the power monitor or uh, Athena power controller. So that, that really digs into the weeds. We, we go step-by-step step through the, the electrical design. We literally build a single line diagram starting from the customer's um, main meter and walk you all the way through uh, downstream or upstream, however you wanna think about it to where the, the ESS is tied in and where the solar is tied in and how everything all communicates, the metering configuration, 
et cetera. Um, you wanna go to the next slide, John? So that's a great segue into the, the metering components module is basically a, a deeper dive um, into the into the metering and the communication side of the overall AC design of the solar plus storage system. There are uh, a couple different meters that that we currently the, that we currently that STEM currently supports. Um, so really understanding the, the nuances between them and you know what what supplemental uh, hardware may be required, different voltage levels, etc. Interconnection and permitting, I mentioned earlier in the documentation and resources module, um, a, lo a lot of the documents in that portal are really meant to help you expedite your, your project permitting. We have a lot of really step-by-step uh, -step kind of cheat sheets, if you will, for for the interconnection process, it's currently focused on California just because that's the lion's share of, of the market that we support. But to be honest with you, if you go to any major utility in the US, they pretty much follow the same general approach to interconnecting um, batteries and, and adding them to, to the solar scope. So a, a lot of those kind of best practices and, and rules of thumb um, are, will be applicable pretty much across the country. But as I mentioned earlier, we're here to help provide oversight. We have a whole team of, of utility program and interconnection experts that are at the forefront of you know, new and emerging markets. Um, so we're, we're here to, to help clarify. And if, if we don't know the answer, we typically have, have good contacts um, within these utilities uh, to, to help drive drive down and, and get you an answer really quickly so the the the, the next one is installation um, we, we don't go into a ton of detail because uh, on the ESS itself because that's covered in the OEM training that's a whole other several hours of, of content of learning how the, the ESS itself gets together but it's more of a high level preview of how the different components go together it's not Rocket surgery, as, as I like to say, you know, you, you all are very familiar with landing transformers, landing switch gear. It's, it's really similar stub ups in a concrete pad, but it, it, it's really making sure that you understand some of the key steps to triple check that it's a real nightmare if you have to go back and redo. Um, current transformers is, is one example, um, or, or potential transformers. Um, and some of the communication issues that I, that I mentioned earlier in the metering, the AC, AC design and the metering components uh, module. And then we also have some a very robust checklists, again, to, to really help, help you guys make sure you're, 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 you're hitting all the boxes and, um, and not you know, accidentally leaving something out that's, that's really critical. And then, um, after that is commissioning. Uh, again, very, very uh, technical process of, of, of when, when, when our back end engineers is the network operations center commissions a system, they're, they're going through and validating that, that signals are looking proper, prop, looking accurately, that all the information is being gathered properly. Um, and then, and the reason why we are so we, we triple check everything is because once the system is is locked and loaded, ready to go, and it's ready for commissioning, and 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 we see some kind of issue, if if we can triple verify that that certain of the kind of low hanging fruit, like obvious mistakes, have gotten captured, then we don't waste every your time, everyone's time, having to tear apart the system and fix fix. Uh, you know, the PT placement or something like that. It, it's clearly, if, at that point, if there's an issue, which there rarely is, it means that there's some like critical hardware component issue that might need to be swapped. Um, so uh, so that, that kind of covers the, the commis commissioning whole procedure. And then I think I've, yeah, the last slide here. Um, so 
the, the, the final module and the overview modules is operations and maintenance. It's pretty light because STEM covers the O&M for the ESS and as well as the meters and all of STEM's uh, computer communication hardware and what have you. Um, and this is really clear. We've, we do a very, very, very crystal clear uh, scope delineation with you know dotted lines and arrows and everything just showing what who's responsible for what. Um, all the ancillary hardware, transformers, conductors, et cetera, switch gear. And then obviously this, all the solar scope um, is on the solar EPC. So just kind of high level that that's, that's where the, the delineation uh, lies. And then we go into some, a little bit more detail on, on what the, what the procedures look like when STEM has to deploy personnel to, to remediate in any kind of issue that the ESS may encounter. But again, a lot of that's done remotely. And in the event that we do have to roll a truck, uh, it's pretty seamless from the partner's standpoint. You, you might not even know that something happened, that something went wrong because it's this very uh, SWAT team approach. Um, people on call 24 seven monitoring the system. Um, and then the, the last two boxes here are the, the two other courses, the OEM training and project supervision. Um, I kind of went into this uh, quite a bit already earlier, but um, the, the cost for the OEM training is approximately $2,000 per person. But again, that, that was all generated before, uh, before COVID. So um, we're, we're actively working on a, on a new approach. It'll likely be a lower fee. Um, and there's obviously no travel involved. So um, it's basically a most of a day seminar stepping through, as I said, it's essentially the, the, the installation manual in a, in a much more uh, kind of, of again, virtually quote unquote, hands-on approach to the, to the installation manual. And then I, I, I pretty much covered project supervision. You'll have a dedicated project manager from STEM there to help you along the way. And, um, and there you have it, that, that covers my, my portion. I believe John, right? Yeah, we're all good. Thank you, Doug. Cool. Yeah, great. My pleasure. Cool. Okay, great guys. Um, and again, thanks for hanging in with us here. Um, this last slide is, is just touching on kind of the, you know, what happens once you complete uh, STEM university and, you know, quote unquote, uh, graduate, right? So again, graduating from STEM university is, is uh, achieving certification in all three of um, the STEM program verticals, sales, sales analytics, and deployment. And you can see for each one, you get a, a nice um, uh, diploma, if you will, uh, showing your, your certification. And also for the surf, first certification achieved, um, you know, we, we send you a gift box as well. Um, but more importantly, um, you know, if again, as and I mentioned this earlier, if a, if a company has one or more individuals um, passing all three uh, certification programs, so it's either one person or a collection of people, um, you'll be deemed STEM certified as a company for one year. Um, and so that comes with a variety of additional benefits above and beyond, um, you know, a quote unquote STEM authorized partner, which is kind of like the base level. Um, so, you know, this is um, exclusive training access kind of in the form of um, ongoing uh, webinars like this one but geared towards uh, kind of exclusive, ex exclusive training on uh, products programs uh, market trends things of that nature that will only be open to stem certified partners uh, we'll be able to offer stem certified partners leads that will get passed through uh, through Sologent and then um, STEM certified partners will be able to engage with uh, the STEM's pre-sale resources um, in a, a, um, a more detailed manner than kind of authorized partners would otherwise be able to do so. So that, you know, this comes in the form of a, of a STEM's, STEM sales analyst. Um, and then last but not least, 
STEM certified partners uh, have the ability to, to use and, and they've earned the STEM certified partner logo. So you can display that on your website. And, um, you know, we really feel that as we, as we build out this best in, in class energy storage uh, education program, that this, this logo is going to hold, hold water uh, as we move forward in the future. So, you know, we're really excited to be able to make this available to you guys. And, um, you know, we hope that you're, you know, you're able to display these logos with pride. Okay, so, you know, that concludes the presentation portion of our webinar. Thank you guys again for attending. Uh, quick call to action here, right? So um, please do enroll in STEM University. Um, it's free to join and the university, the curriculum that you undertake there, there's no fee for the curriculum. Um, and it's at university.stem.com. Um, also, as Brian mentioned, we have a partnership with Energy Toolbase. And, you know, we, we leverage that, that platform for, um, you know, a large majority of our behind the meter modeling for our partners. Uh, so, and we also have a link here that get, gives you an exclusive 45 day free trial if you don't have it already. Uh, so please leverage that. And then if you have a project, please reach out to Madeline at Solgent to get started and she'll loop me in and we'll get you set up with you know, the appropriate resources and, you know, for your first one or two projects in terms of the pre-sale side of the house, you know, I'll, I'll be there to, to support you every step of the way. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm really looking forward to, to getting things going with you, with you all. Uh, and with that, um, the STEM team will, will now take some questions if you have any.